Hi, welcome everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a factor analysis uh, using principal component analysis for non-stationary variables in views. For that, you have to open this blog. Uh, there's the address is shown in the top. And you open it, you have to download this add-in. And when you download the add-in, you will be able to see this add-in in your downloads. When you double click it or run it, it will be installed in your add-ins folder and it, it will have this name. What you have to do is you have to, uh, if the name is written twice, you have to edit the name so that it has it becomes this. And, and it will show you these files. Make sure the spellings are same, otherwise if their spellings are different, you can have a look here and edit the names. This way it will be installed here. You can read this uh, document, it will show you how the factor analysis has been done. You can do factor analysis on cycles or levels and you can see how many factors you need to estimate uh, and how many lags you need to use. And then you need to do the mean or standardized variable and what you want to uh, save. So it will show you the variables and so we will go into eViews now. How to get it into eViews, you need to go to add-ins and manage add-ins and here you need to add that install file so go here and go to your downloads and eviews add-ins add tx principal component and then this when you run this it will uh, install here and, and it will show you uh, options here so first of all what we'll do is once uh, how to confirm that it is here uh, um, you have to open the time series data, open the variables that you want to make a group, make it a group, and name them as group 1. And then go into add-ins, you will see principal component analysis for uh, stationary variables. And you do this, it will ask which group you want, so I already divided one group. I need to forecast for two time periods, I need only one lag, I want only want the mean variables, and I need to apply method on levels and I need to estimate only one variable and what you want to store estimated cycles, normalized variables, left factor loading so if you have not selected cycles and if you estimate the cycles it will not give you anything uh, you can use levels and uh, cycles and it will also show you estimated cycles so this program is provided by uh, Aaron uh, so when you press these, uh, press OK it will show you the normalized variables that has been generated uh, that has been created in this analysis let me make it smaller and and then these are normalized variables the cycles are empty because we have not estimated the cycles these are the principal index variable that you generated that we generated from the method and these are the normalized variables as a group because these are are separated and this is form adder normalized as a group and then you have a group and then you have the index this is same as gr factors okay and then loading matrix it shows you that it is uh, the, the values are almost equal to one so this way you can create an index for non-stationary variables especially in the time series analysis and uh, using this new algorithm this can be applied on time series data and if you want to do it on panel data you might have to do it separately for each time series component and then join it together to form a panel data. Thank you very much for watching.